own 18 different properties in a two county area and house over a thousand folks a year. Um, and almost half of the people we house are kids. And so for a number of years we had talked about going smoke free and what that meant and we were pretty worried. I know I was skeptical. Um, we like keeping our, our properties full. We're a landlord and if we don't keep our properties full we are at risk of lo losing money and that doesn't do anyone any good. And I, I just assumed that it would be a problem for our tenants. Now that I know that the tobacco industry is predatory and um, really marketing to low-income communities, doing more advertising, um, preying upon our kiddos in our community, it just made sense that our organization would go um, and, and become smoke-free properties. I think one of the reasons why I was open to the possibility, even though I was worried about it, is that I'm a former smoker. The harder it was for me to remain a smoker, the more likely I was to quit. And, uh, and, uh, that's, and, and that made sense to me, that if we could turn our properties into smoke-free housing, not overnight, but eventually more people would figure out how to quit. It was a resident who came up to um, one of our staff who said, this has changed my life. I am now, I quit and I would never have quit. But this forced me, or at least gave me the, um, the motivation to quit. When we met with our tenants, I didn't realize how many could actually smell the smoke of their next door neighbor inside their own apartment, not just when they're outside on the porch or something like that. So when they had the opportunity to not smell a neighbor's smoke, um, people liked that. Particularly when kids don't have um, the power of control over their total existence. This is one way to ensure that kiddos at least can breathe clean air and that matters.